the people have been warm and gracious. Uh, there's a sense of excitement that I have, uh, and certainly the people of the Gary Diocese have. So it's uh, been a warm embrace. I'm trying to make sure that I'm ready and as prepared as I can be, uh, and looking forward to greeting so many people over these coming days. It's really a celebration for the whole Diocese of Gary. And so what I'm looking forward to is that moment after the ordination where they take me over to what's called the cathedra, that's where the word for cathedral comes from, and for the first time I'll be stationed in a place where I'll show my love and leadership and teaching to the people of Gary. And so someone asked me one time, when do you think you'll feel like you're at home? And I think when they bring me over to that chair, that's when I'll know that I'm home. And I'm really looking forward to that. And of course, it's just an opportunity to rejoice in God's love for us. So I know I'll certainly be the focus of a significant amount of attention. It's in the ordination, but it's really one of service as well. And so uh, hopefully that message of hope and encouragement to our region will be something that will resonate with the people of God and beyond. Uh, the Synod was a great gift. Its uh, motto, its own scripture passage was, Go Make Disciples. And that's a beautiful way to think about our mission as Christians. And we do that, as my motto would explain, with the spirit of service. And so we can bring the love of Jesus to others, to a world that's uh, in need of compassion and love and hope. And so that would certainly be, be my uh, expectation, my hope, my prayer. I think as we then un unfold into the future, certainly building upon uh, the principles and the priorities of the Synod will be a good roadmap for me. I feel very blessed uh, to have received that as a gift coming already into the Diocese of Gary. As I say, I'm a son of the industrial Great Lakes, and so I think those are really treasures for us, that uh, we work hard. Uh, we also have this beautiful Great Lake region that we're a part of. And so for me, I draw upon that experience uh, that I think will hopefully inform my ministry here. Certainly uh, places that have had times of economic distress, which Detroit has and Gary has, uh, they can really help to clarify what's important and what you really strive to do. And so my experience in Detroit is that really uh, an effort to ensure not just a, a more vibrant downtown area, uh, but that people who might be on the margins, who are most vulnerable, uh, have some help and some support. Uh, but my experience is that when you go through those uh, situations, uh, that the love that people have for each other can also intensify. Uh, you know, oftentimes communities that have no struggles never come together in the way that they do when you have some challenges. And so when we're all in this together, uh, when we all know that we're facing some similar challenges, it can also draw people together in ways that are unexpected. And it doesn't mean that we want to stay in a state of distress, and I don't think we're in a state of distress, but when you have challenges, uh, it's good to bond together with other people. So I see myself obviously as a, the leader of the Roman Catholic Church in this region, but also to want to be a good neighbor to all men and women of goodwill as we uh, seek to bring vibrancy and uh, to continue to ensure that we have a beautiful community.